Yo, what's up guys? It's Noah here, uh, and in today's video, I'm going to be breaking down a couple player props I like on prize picks for the NBA slate on Thursday, January the 5th. Uh, we got a small Thursday slate, only four games tonight, so um, you know, for smaller slates like this, I usually play a little bit lighter. Just going to give out two picks in this video, but you know, taking a look at the board right now, I did find two picks I felt pretty good about for today, even though it is kind of a, a small slate. Um, but before we talk through these two plays, guys, I do want to recap our plays from yesterday. We gave out two picks in yesterday's video, Cash both of those two plays. So hopefully you guys uh, did tail the picks yesterday. We hit the over on CJ McCollum's points at 24 and a half. I think McCollum finished with like 28 or 29 points. And then we hit the over on Bam Adebayo's rebounds at nine and a half. And I think Bam finished with like 12 or 13 rebounds. So uh, both plays hit yesterday. Hope you guys made a little bit of money. And let's try and, you know, do it again for this uh, Thursday slate. Um, but before we get started talking through the plays, guys, make sure you hit that like button down below if you guys do enjoy these prospects videos, if they do help you out. Hit that subscribe button as well, and if you guys are new to prospects, if you have not checked out prospects yet, uh, sign up for prospects, use my promo code, promo code NOAH, you will get your first deposit matched up to $100 when you do sign up with my promo code. Um, you know, prospects, they offer a ton of different player props in a ton of different categories. They offer, you know, points, rebounds, assist props. They offer fantasy score projections too. It's very simple, very easy to use. You're just taking more or less and you can win up to, you know, 25x your money on prize picks. So uh, give them a try. Use that promo code, guys, and you will get your first deposit matched up to $100. Also, if you guys do enjoy these YouTube videos, these prospects videos that I put out, um, and you want more prospects plays from me, I do provide those over on Patreon. I give a full write-up for each play. Uh, I post on Patreon. If you guys want to check out the Patreon, see everything I provide over there. Uh, as always, that is linked down below in the description. But we got two picks for this Thursday slate. Uh, we got two fantasy score props I like. You know, normally, normally when I make these videos, the fantasy score props are not posted. Sometimes, you, usually, like on bigger slates, it takes prize picks a little bit longer to get the fantasy score props up. But we've got a lot of fantasy score props up already when I'm making this video, and I found two that I really liked for today. So. The first play that we're going to talk about is going to be Jason Tatum, 47 and a half fantasy score. I like the over here for Jason Tatum, and you look over his last five games, he's gone under this line in three straight. Um, obviously, you know, came up just short against the Clippers, kind of a tough matchup, came up just short against Denver, and then last game against OKC was just like the worst game possible for the Celtics. They lost by like 30 points to the Thunder. Nobody expected that. Um, I think we can expect, you know, the Celtics to bounce back here. I like this matchup as well. You know, Dallas has historically been a team that, I really not look to target. Dallas does play at a really slow pace. They're actually playing at the slowest pace in the league this season. But what's very interesting is that even though Dallas is playing at a really slow pace this year, this game has the highest total on the slate of all the four games today. This game has a 232 total, um, which leads the slate, and it's just a three-point spread as well. So we should expect a close competitive game here. We should expect a relatively high-scoring game given the total. And we know in close competitive games, Jason Tatum is going to play Huge, huge minutes. He's towards the top of the league in terms of minutes per game. He's averaging almost 37 minutes per game this season. I think we can expect, you know, 37, 38 minutes from Tatum here. And Tatum, obviously, is going to be really productive when he's on the floor. So far this season, he's averaging 1.35 fantasy points per minute. He's got a 32.9% usage rate this season, which does lead the team. Obviously, him and Jalen Brown are going to be the two guys that really, you know, dominate usage in the Celtics offense. And when Tatum plays his normal 36, 37, 38 minutes, I think he's got a good chance to go over this line more times than not because you think, you know, Tatum typically plays like 36, 37 minutes per game. He averages 1.35 fantasy points per minute. Let's say Tatum plays 36 minutes tonight, which is what he averages. You know, it's actually a little bit less than his season average. And let's say he averages 1.35 fantasy points per minute, which is what he averages on the season. That would put him at 48.6 fantasy points. So basically, if he plays his average minutes, and averages his normal fantasy points per minute rate that he's had this season, that would put him over this line. And I think we could expect his production to be even greater you know, in this matchup. Dallas is going to be missing one of their best defenders here. No Dorian Finney-Smith. When you look at this matchup going up against this Mavericks team without Dorian Finney-Smith, it's probably going to be Reggie Bullock who guards Tatum here. And Reggie Bullock by no means is a bad defender, but he's definitely undersized compared to Tatum. And Tatum's not a guy that I really worry about matchups too much anyways. He's a matchup-proof player. He destroyed Dallas earlier this season, and that was when they did have Dorian Finney-Smith. Um, Tatum put up like over 60 fantasy points against Dallas. Let's see. I want to look at the game log because I remember looking at it earlier. Um, when they played Dallas on, let's see, when they played him on November 23rd, Tatum had 64.1 fantasy points. Played 37 minutes, 37 points, 13 rebounds, 5 assists, 2 blocks, 64.1 fantasy points. <laughs> Last time he faced the Mavericks earlier this season. Not expecting 64 from Tatum today, but I think he can get us 
over 47 and a half. I do like this over as our first play for today. And do want to mention that over the last seven games without Dorian Finney-Smith, if you actually look um, in terms of fantasy points allowed to power forwards, Dallas is giving up the sixth most fantasy points per game to power forwards over their or, uh, seventh most fantasy points per game to power forwards over their last seven games. All those seven games are without Dorian Finney-Smith. So really good matchup for Tatum, kind of a sneaky good spot, I think. And given the total in this game, 232 total, we should see a relatively high scoring game here. The spread indicates this game will be close as well. We know in close games, you know, Tatum's going to play like huge, huge minutes. This is also a national TV game. And uh, for national TV games, the, the timeout breaks are a lot longer because, you know, the commercial breaks are a lot longer. So these guys get more time to rest during timeouts on national TV games. So that's kind of another plus. Maybe we see Tatum's minutes up even more um, in a spot like this. So that's the first pick that I like for today, guys. And then the second pick, another fantasy score prop I like. I want to go down to Alper and Shingun. Uh, 29 and a half fantasy score for Shingun here. I like the over as well going up against the Jazz. And I know Shingun's you know, last five games don't look too great. He did have that really big game against Chicago. Last two games against the Pelicans and against the Mavericks, he's just gone over this line. Obviously, really struggled against Boston, uh, struggled in that one game against Dallas. Shingun's issue this season has, for the most part, has been foul trouble and it's been kind of blowout as well. We've seen a lot of games where he doesn't really play normal minutes because either one, he's in foul trouble or it's a blowout. Obviously, this Rockets team is really bad. They get blown out a lot. They're on the second night of a back-to-back, -back, so that's obviously not great. But they are playing at home here, so I think playing at home, that makes it a lot more likely this game stays competitive. You look at the spread right now, I mean, it's a six-and-a-half point spread, which isn't, like, too crazy. Um, if it was, like, a double-digit spread, I think that's usually when I start to get worried about blowout. Anything below double digits, I kind of hope, you know, assume it's going to be a close game. It's been tough to predict blowouts this season for NBA even games that have like two point spreads can be blowouts at this point. It's just, it just all depends on if a team gets hot or not. But if we do get a close game here and if Shingun's not in foul trouble, he should play about 28 to 30 minutes. And this is one of the best matchups you can get against the Jazz. The Jazz this season, they give up a ton of offensive rebounds. They give up, I think, the most points in the paint as well. And so far this year, in terms of fantasy points allowed to centers, they're giving up the second most fantasy points per game two cent or second most fantasy points per game two centers this season only behind the Hornets this has been a matchup I've looked to target all season is centers going up against the Jazz and we've seen Shingun be able to do really well in good matchups he faced OKC one time this season and had a huge game against OKC um, he put up let's see he put up 66 fantasy points against OKC that was his best game of the season 21 points 19 rebounds seven assists this is one of those spots where like Shingun should be able to get a lot of offensive boards he's a really good offensive rebounder he should be able to get a lot of putbacks as well. He should be able to get some points in the paint because that's where the Jazz really struggle is giving up points in the paint. And this is another game that should be relatively high scoring. It's got a pretty high total of the four games today. This Utah-Houston game does have, or it's tied for the second highest total on the slate right now, 230 and a half total. So we should see a lot of points scored here. We should see Shingun play 28 to 30 minutes if it's a competitive game. He's played 28 plus minutes in 14 games this season. And when he's played 28 minutes or more in those 14 games, he's gone over this fantasy score line in 11 out of those 14 games. There's only been three games this season where he played at least 28 minutes and did not have 29 and a half fantasy points or more. Uh, one of those games was against the Spurs. He finished with 29.2, came up just short. Other two games were against the Sixers, really tough matchup against Embiid. He only had 18 fantasy points in that game. And then against the Clippers, he only had 18 fantasy points. But every other game this season where he's played more than 28 minutes, he has gone over this fantasy score line. Um, and Shingun's, you know, he's a productive player when he gets minutes. He's averaged well over a fantasy point per minute this season. He's averaged 1.19 fantasy points per minute. On average, when he plays his normal 30 minutes, I would bank on him going over this line, especially in a really good matchup like this one against a bad Jazz team that gives up a lot of points in the paint, really gives up a lot of fantasy points to centers. It's a really good spot here for Shingun. So, these are the two picks that I like for today, guys. Two fantasy score props. Jason Tatum, more than 47 and a half fantasy score. Uh, Alperin Shingun, more than 29 and a half fantasy score. I'm recording this video around 11.45 Eastern time. Um, so these are kind of some early picks I like for today. But again, I will be taking a look at the board uh, later, later this afternoon. I'm going to share a few more plays for today over on Patreon. Since it is such a small slate, I probably won't have a ton of plays posted on Patreon, probably like two or three. But if you guys want to get access to my additional prospects plays that I post each day, that I'm playing each day, you can check out the Patreon linked down below in the description. But as always, I hope you guys do enjoy these prospects videos. I hope they do help. Hit that like button. If you guys enjoy, hit that subscribe button if you have not yet. And again, if you guys are new to prospects, if you have not checked out prospects yet, uh, sign up with my promo code, promo code NOAH. 
you will get your first deposit matched up to $100 when you do sign up with my promo code. But good luck as always, guys. Thanks for watching the videos, supporting the content. Appreciate you guys a ton. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.